yeah 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 welcome back welcome back just came from the supermarket and today i'm gonna make some stew peas have some pig's tail and some um cure this is um corn pork and i have some oxtail and i have my red peas so oxtail some corn pork and some pig's tail two-piece Thursday mud first of all I'm gonna get my piece I'm gonna wash it down I'm gonna wash it down rinse it a little make sure there's no bad thing in there you know I wash it down get a fresh pot of water and I'm gonna put it to a boil Okay, first thing I put my peas on, and if you notice, that's garlic. I got um, almost like a clove of garlic. I cut them up, crush them up and cut them up. So that's gonna start cooking the peas right away. So that's just the water with the red peas and the garlic. That's gonna come to a boil. Okay, my next move now is gonna prep my meat. This is the oxtail, basically I'm gonna take it off, wash it down, probably cut these large portions into smaller portions. And these three, which is the pig tail and the corned beef, I'm gonna put them in a pot of water and I'm gonna let them boil, cause it's, um, it's like salt. So I have to boil off the salt. So maybe I'll give them, I'll boil them like twice and throw that water off. But first I'm gonna prep my oxtail and put it on with the peas and the garlic when that comes to a boil. Yes, as you can see the ox tail, I cleaned it up and I cut the big um, section into um, smaller portions. So that's all ready. Right now the pig's tail, I'm cutting up the pig's tail into smaller portion and on um, the corned beef, I'm gonna cut it up into smaller portions too cause I'm gonna put these two together so they could um boil like cause they they salt beef all right stay tuned there you go the peas is coming to a boil normally it's on top so what we normally we get out of water and go like this and that bring the peas down see that when that start boiling again then i'm gonna add my um oxtail over here I have the pig tail and the corned beef I'm gonna let it scald off like let it boil like two times to get rid of the salt okay now I'm gonna add my oxtail that's the first piece I went in here my oxtail okay just let that cook for a while. Basically, that's the that's the um the pig tail and the corned beef. I'm gonna actually um throw off this water, put some fresh water on again, and let it come to a boil like this again. I'm removing all the salt from it because it's like corn, so you don't want your stew piece to be too salt. Over here. We have the peas and the ox tail being cooked. So I'm gonna add the pig tail and the corned beef to it. Okay, okay. While my um, peas and ox tail cooking and my um, salt meat is on its second phase of scalding off, I'm gonna need my flour. All right, cause you're gonna have to make some spinners for it. You'll see what I'm talking. Spinners they call small dumpling. I got my rice ready. I'm gonna put it on until it's almost done. And I'm gonna prep all my season thyme, scallion, onion, pepper, and carrot. Alright, so I'm gonna cut up all of them into this bowl. Need my flour and just get everything ready. I like to prep my stuff ahead of time. All right, stay tuned, stay tuned. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All my seeds been cut up. As you can see, everything's in there. But when you're working on the flour, ready for my spinners. Okay, this is my second scalding off of the meat. Basically, I'm gonna turn this off, throw off the water, wash it off, and then add it to the peas with the oxtail. All right, we'll combine everything into one now. Okay, basically, this is what it looks like. Basically, the pig steel and the corn beef cut up. Okay, nice small pieces. All right, so I'm gonna add this to the peas and the ox steel, make everything one. and let this cook for a while might have to add more water and so on but it's just gonna let this cook everything is in one right now yeah, yeah. it's about 45 minutes now checking on the two peas so the peas I'm cooking me cooking everything look good lot of meat Yep, so we have the ox seal in there, pig's tail, and the beef, the salt beef. And yeah, food kind of foggy, but you don't know. All right, check on it again. Next time I'll check on it, probably can add all the seasoning. All right, checking on the stew piece now. See what's going on. All right, so coming down. See all the meat. Yeah. So now I'm gonna add all the vegetables, all the seasoning and stuff. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's check out the stew piece we are going to see. Yep. Now we need them there. Peas cooking, everything cooking. Ox still getting tender. Pig still getting tender. And beef getting tender. So now I'm gonna add all of the seasoning. Two peas, and the season and cooking down. Look at that. Yeah. No more on my spinners. That's all the dumplings, the small dumplings. Yeah. Add my spinners, a little black pepper, a touch of my all purple seasoning, and some butter. And just let that simmer down. Matter of fact, I'm gonna add my butter. Alright, my butter in there. A pinch of black pepper. Here we go. My purple seasoning. And then the 
White rice finish, nice and chilly. Just don't finish steam. Check on the stove, please. Now, yeah, can I remove the fire? Can I make sure I get thick? So the spinners in there, like small dumpling. Yeah, all kind of meat. Ooh. Yeah. Wait for the dumpling them to cook now and let them simmer down a little. Nice and rich and thick. Yep. Everything cooked down. Carrots cooked down. Everything cooked down. Okay. So the pig still. So the ox still. Corned beef. Yep. This is gonna be so good. Yep, it's two peas and white rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dinner is served. It's two peas and white rice. There you go. Mm. 